Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. A rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 cm long and 10 2 by 3 cm wide. So you have a rectangular sheet of paper something like this. So the length is given. This is the length. And this is the width, which is also called the breadth. Find its perimeter. So perimeter is nothing but the boundary. So we can say that perimeter will be equal to length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. So that means basically the perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. That would be the perimeter because perimeter is actually length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. This is L, B, again L, again B. So this is this would be equal to 2L plus 2B which can be written as 2 into length plus breadth. Now in the question the length is given as 12 1 by 2 and the breadth is given by given as 10 2 by 3. So that means we will have to find out 2 into 12 1 by 3 plus 10 2 by 3. So how can we add two mixed fractions? First of all, we need to convert them into improper fractions. How do we do that? 12 into 2 plus 1. That is 24 plus 1 which is 25 by 2 plus 10 into 3 30 plus 2. That is 32. So 32 by 3. So now what we do? How do we add these two fractions? Look at the denominator. They have different denominators. So we will find out LCM of 2 and 3. So LCM of 2 and 3 is equal to 6. So therefore the denominator will have 6. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Therefore 25 into 3 plus 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Therefore 32 into 2. So this is equal to 2 into 25 into 3 is 75, 32 into 2 is 64, this divided by 6. So this is equal to 2 into 75 plus 64 is equal to 139 divided by 6, right. So this becomes equal to 2 into 139 divided by 6. Now we know that 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, this is 139 divided by 3. So, this much centimeters would be the answer. Now, if you want, you can convert this into mixed fraction again. For that, you'll have to divide 139 by 3. So, I hope you'll be able to do that yourself. So, let's look at the next question. Question number 4. Salil wants to put a picture in a frame. The picture is 7, 3 by 5 centimeters wide. To fit in the frame, the picture cannot be more than 7 3 by 10 centimeters wide. How much should the picture be trimmed? Let us say that this is the frame. So this is the frame. So let us draw it like this. Now this is our frame. Now what about the picture? The picture is slightly bigger than the frame. So the picture, maybe, let us draw it like this. So the picture is maybe this much. So this is the picture. Now if we want this picture to fit into this frame, do you think it will fit into the frame? No. So we will have to trim this much part. So this much part needs to be removed. So in this question, we have to find out that how much is this part which needs to be removed. So how will we find out this part? This total width of the picture subtracted sub, and from there we will subtract the uh, width of the frame right so that that's what we will have to do so we will have to find out the difference so which how do we find the difference which is a bigger number 7 3 by 5 or 7 3 by 10 now logically we can understand that the picture is bigger that is why we are trimming the picture the picture is being cut that means that the picture is bigger so the width of the picture is 7 3 by 5 so from 7 3 by 5 we subtract 7 3 by 10 so as we know first of all we will convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions so 7 into 5 35 plus 3 that is 38 divided by 5 minus 
7 into 10 70 plus 3 that is 73 divided by 10. In this case again you have different denominators so we find out the LCM of 5 and 10 which is 10. Now 5 into 2 is equal to 10 therefore 38 into 2 minus 10 into 1 is equal to 10 so 73 into 1. Now this is equal to 76 minus 73 divided by 10 which is equal to 3 by 10. So 3 by 10 centimeters need to be trimmed from the picture. Question number 5. Michael finished coloring a picture in 7 by 12 hours. Vabha finished coloring the same picture in 3 by 4 hours. Who worked longer? By what fraction was it longer? So basically we will have to find out whether 7 by 12 is bigger or 3 by 4 is bigger. So we are given two fractions 7 by 12 and 3 by 4. So both of them have different denominators. So let us first try to convert them into like fractions. So for that we will find out LCM of 4 and 12 that is the denominators. So what would be the LCM of 4 and 12? 4 ones are 4, 4 threes are 12. So 3, 1, 1. So the LCM would be 4 into 3 which is equal to 12. So the LCM is 12. Now therefore 7 by 12 can be written as it is. What about 3 by 4? In case of 3 by 4, we multiply the numerator and denominator with such numbers that the denominator in the result is 12. So 4 into 3 is 12. So we also multiply the numerator by 3. So this becomes 9 by 12. So now we have two numbers 7 by 12 and 9 by 12. So we can say that 9 is greater than 7. Therefore 9 by 12 is greater than 7 by 12 or 3 by 4 is greater than 7 by 12. So what is 3? Who worked for 3 by 4 hours? Vabhav. So therefore we can say that Vabhav worked longer. Now the next part of the question says by what fraction was it longer? That means how much was the difference between Vabhav's working hours and Michael's working hours? So for that we will have to find out the difference between the two. So how do you find the difference? Bigger number that is 3 by 4 minus 7 by 12. So again the LCM of 4 and 12 is 12. So the denominator would be 12. 4 into 3 is 12. So this would be 3 into 3 minus 12 into 1 is 12. So this would be 7 into 1. So 9 minus 7 by 12 which is equal to 2 by 12. So 2 into 6 is 12. So this is equal to 1 by 6 hours. So the difference between the two is 1 by 6 hours. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple 4 step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.